Fresh from the showcase here at Swiss Watch Expo, we're gonna discuss a little bit, just a little bit about Bauhaus design. Bauhaus design is something that just sort of infers that there's a design simplicity that comes out of the country of Germany. A lot of people don't realize that there are watch companies in Germany, and we have them here at Swiss Watch Expo. One of the company's name is Glasuta. Now you've probably heard Longa Zone and a few others in the marketplace, but these are some of the most important because they're some of the most intricate and they're some of the oldest uh, with old designs and modern designs mixed. But there's another company that's somewhat something that resembles German, even though it's just across the Rhine River in Switzerland in uh, Schaffhausen, which is IWC. And so I'm gonna talk about the Bauhaus design because from, from IWC to Glasuta, you get some similar influences, that German simplicity. And point of fact, IWC was begun by an American and then subsequently, of course, was purchased by the Swiss, but with direct German influence. So let's start with this extraordinarily interesting design from IWC. This is what looks like the Caraccio, that's the name. He was a German race car driver for Mercedes uh, in the 1930s. And this is the IWC Ingenieur. So the Ingenieur is a watch that was developed for the idea of being resistant to magnetism and uh, having a lot of shock and vibration resistance because it was supposed to be used by engineers. And the idea was is that if you have a laboratory setting where you've got an, a watch, this was pre-quartz uh, and digital days, you needed a watch that would re retain its accuracy no matter what kind of magnetism you were around or what kind of science experiments you may have been doing. Also, it was beneficial when it had a chronograph for a lot of different things, for tests and that sort of thing, but it was also adopted and adapted for automotive racing too because of its durability. Now, Mercedes and IWC are very intricate partners, and that is why this that I'm holding in my hand, the IWC, is the German Caraccio or the Carac edition. And when you turn this watch over, it's got the visual case back, which a lot of the ingenieurs prior to now did not have a case back where you could see the internal movements. They were sealed in the back. All of these watches, of course, are water resistant and extraordinarily durable for everyday use, which is very nice. Now, this particular watch is not horribly thick, but it is a lot thicker than your average watch and your average chronograph. Just the case and the robustness lends itself to that. So again, you get that very simplistic German Bauhaus design for, in a design that was, uh, for this particular piece, a throwback to a German race car driver. So it all sort of ties together. Now this particular watch is interesting because it has a little of uh, the satin finish. It's a very straight line edge, almost like a coin edge on the side of this Ingenieur. So this was introduced in 2016 when the complete design of the Ingenieur changed. Uh, the previous design of the Ingenieur was a watch that looked a whole lot like Gerald Genta's design because it was. And that was from the 1980s to around the mid 2000s. Prior to that, this particular Ingenieur design was the one that was the most popular. So they, this is a throwback to the original design of the Ingenieur, the round shape, if you will. So this one has a very unique bezel design. Uh, the pushers are very unique. They're rectangular and uh, they have a very nice smooth engagement. There's a lot to like about this watch, but not the least of which is the strap. It has a diamond tucked perforated style uh, strap, not wholly unlike a lot of the seats in some very high end Mercedes. So this diamond tucked design is something that you don't see very often in cars, let alone in on straps of watches. So this is all tying together in that sort of German uh, aficionado style. And this one has a really cool uh, gray, sort of slate gray dial. It's a beautiful watch. It becomes, it becomes silver, it becomes dark gray. It sort of looks smoky gray at times. It's just a beautiful watch. And for the price that you pay, the value is huge, especially as compared to the price new. So. If you want a really cool watch that doesn't break the bank, this IWC is definitely it. And there's a lot more ingenieurs like this. Um, so let's talk about the Glasuta for just a moment. The Glasuta, this open work, I've talked about in previous videos, but I, I keep going back to this because of the bridge work. 
in it, in it, in the open design of the movement. Now, the interesting thing about a lot of the German designs is that in the open work, for this one, they tend to use a very small dial somewhere situated in within a dial. So it's a dial within a dial. And this one's not any different. The date is in a very strange place. It's up near the one position. Sometimes you find them over near the nine or the 10. Sometimes Most watches in, in most other manufacturers wind up being at the three position or the six o'clock position or even between four and five. Well, with the German styles, that date can literally be anywhere on this dial. Uh, there can be all kinds of different indicators that are used in various incongruent places. But yet, when you look at the dial, it's very symmetrical. It, even though it may be out of place, there is symmetry to it. There's art, there's design, but it's very, very simple. Again, it's that Bauhaus style. And this watch is very indicative of that. At some points you look at it and you go, wow, there's a lot of intricate detail, but at the same time, it looks very simple in its design. Now, the very back of this watch is similar as well. So the watch has a very simplistic movement from the back. It has, it's an automatic, it's a very thin rotor on the backside. And you'll notice a lot of watches, the rotors are very thick and heavy and they don't seem to fit very well within the glass that you're looking at it. They seem to be clunky. This one fits as if it was designed within the sapphire crystal and it's extraordinarily thin. It's a really great look. So then, we're gonna move on to this other Glasuta. Now, this is a panograph. So this watch has a few hands that do a retrograde style movement on the side. And again, offset dials, offset date. Now this date happens to be down near the five o'clock position. So as I said, with German design, things can move around the dial a lot. And even though it looks a little incongruent at first, there is symmetry to it. It does make sense once you start to look at it. So both of these watches have a lot of detail. For example, this one has that sort of that satin finish on the edge. The bezel is got, it's got a double beveled bezel on the sides. Say that 10 times fast. And then when you open up the case back, this is where the real design begins. This watch is decorated more than I believe, this is a manual wind movement. And it's decorated more than any other glass suit I've ever seen. I don't know if we can get a good photo or zoom in of that, but there's a lot of design and a lot of intricate detail. But when you look at the movement, you think, geez, there's, there's a lot there, but it's very simplistic. So you can really get a jeweler's loop out and, and, and spend an hour looking at all the different little things that are going on inside this and every single detail is decorated. So that's a little bit about the German Bauhaus design and the IWC. Again, IWC being just on the opposite side of the Rhine River from Germany, that's where they got, have gotten a lot of their influences over the years and they continue to get their very simplistic design influences. And in the next series uh, that I'll be doing, I'm gonna bring out some other IWCs and we'll talk a little bit more about how Bauhaus design influences a lot of other IWC watches in addition to the Glasuta. So if you have any questions, give us a call here at Swiss Watch Expo, ring the bell, subscribe, uh, leave us an email. We'll get back to you with all the information that you need to be able to make a great decision for an amazing German Bauhaus design in your collection.